Arterial ulcers and lower extremity arterial disease lead. When taking history of patient where you observe most likely arterial ulcers, identify the non-modifiable factors like advanced age, male gender, family history, African American ethnicity. Modifiable factors are the ones that we want patients and their caregivers to work on to improve the wound healing and they are smoking, diabetes control, dyslipidemia, hypertension, obesity, voluntary inactivity and not due to functional decline, other stresses like infection and controllable chronic kidney disease. Here is a checklist of features for lower extremity arterial disease. The mnemonic is claudication, which is pain at rest. During the patient inspection, it's not necessary that all of these have to be present. So let's start. Claudication, cold and numb, limb elevation. You will see line of demarcation with slow venous filling. Observe pallor, white, pale, blanch color of the limb when elevated greater than 30 to 45 degrees. Altered diminished sensation. Remember that the pain may be masked by sensory neuropathy. Ulcerations on a smooth, shiny, dry skin, hair loss on foot and leg. Dead toe, gangrene, dried and mummified, intractable pain, burning or sharp that increases with elevation, cracks, fissure, interdigital, thickened, brittle, yellow toenails, stiffness in the range of motion of ankle joint, absent palpable pulses, do not confuse with Doppler pulse signal, thrill or bruit may be present, intermittent claudication, edema, if thrombophlebitis or cellulitis is present, Patient keeps a leg dependent and you will appreciate ruber, which is dark purple to bright red color of a limb, also in this position. Narrow calf muscle girth, muscle atrophy. Arterial ulcers are usually located between toes or tips of toes, dorsal toes, dorsal foot, lateral malleolus, on the areas of trauma rubbing. The wound cancer sex of arterial ulcers are even wound margins, gangrene or necrosis, deep pale wound bed, minimal exudate, severe pain associated cellulitis, black escar, blanched up purpura or petechia secondary to blood thinners on peri wound tissue. So for diagnostics, we perform a ankle brachial index and arterial duplex. Remember that ABI's ankle brachial index are inaccurate in patients with long-standing diabetes and long-standing hypertension secondary to non-compressibility of vessels and you would often see ABI is greater than 1.3. This is where Doppler waveforms give more accurate information about the blood flow. So let's talk about some ABI numbers. At less than 0.9, patients start to get claudication and typically occurs at the same distance each time. At less than 0.8, impaired circulation. At less than 0.7, they start to get rest pain, usually across the distal arch of the foot is where the pain is. At less than 0.6, patients usually start getting ulcers. At less than 0.5, suggest critical limb ischemia. And at less than 0.4, the gangrene starts setting in. In the image on the side screen, in figure A, you see the normal Doppler waveform from normal vessels. Signal is triphasic, showing systolic peak, dichrotic notch, representing blood flow reversal during early diastole and a diastolic wave. In the figure B, you see Doppler waveform of vessel with moderately severe occlusive disease as evidenced by monophasic waveform. In the figure C, you see Doppler waveform of vessel with advanced occlusive disease. Note that waveform is severely blunted. Note there are six separate areas of circulation in the foot and ankle region. Do not depend on the pedal or tibial pulse waveform as a sole indication for adequate circulation in the foot region as 50% of all patients with the arterial disease are asymptomatic. Dominate is our protocol. Remember ischemic ulcers have minimal exudate and very high risk of infection. Their ample moisture balance dressings are key here and if any signs of infection, debridement is the key. Other than antiplatelet and lipid lowering medications, these patients benefit from vasodilatory agents when they have symptomatic lower extremity arterial disease. Thank you.